and his brother Dave have found an old dead tree in the woods near their home. This is Tommy. And this is Dave. A dead tree like this one may be the home of many different kinds of plants and animals. This little animal eats insects. It often lives on or under an old tree like this, where many insects may be easily found. Do you know what it is? It's a lizard. Lizards are harmless, but catching one isn't always easy. They move quickly. Tommy touches the scales that cover the lizard. Its skin feels dry and rough. It's a fence lizard, sometimes called a blue belly. Dave puts it back on the tree. Wild animals should be returned to their homes. Tommy sees something moving under the crumbly, decayed wood in a crack in the old tree. He calls Dave over to look. What do you suppose it is? Dave knows. It's an insect. Do you know what kind of insect? It's a beetle. It hides in the decayed wood during the day. At night, it scurries about on its six legs to look for other insects to eat. Is there anything else that would live on an old dead tree like this? Tommy's found something that puzzles him. He calls his brother. Tommy examines what he's found. It's another insect. Most of you have seen this one before. If you haven't seen it, you've probably heard it chirping noisily on summer evenings. It's a cricket. Like the beetle, it hides in the dark places of the old tree during the daytime coming out at night to hunt for food. Dave's found another animal hiding in the decayed wood. It's a slug, a relative of the garden snail. During the daytime, slugs may be found in dark, damp places, under rocks or old boards. At night, they come out to look for plants to eat. The two large stalks on the slug's head have eyes at their tips. The smaller stalks below are used for smelling. But animals are not the only things that live on an old dead tree. This hard, smooth plant is called a fungus. It grows in the old tree just as other plants grow in soil. This is another fungus plant growing on the dead tree. If you poke it, watch what happens. It's called a puffball. Fungus plants like these, and others too small to see, help break down the wood of the old tree. This is part of what we mean when we say that the old tree decays. The decayed material will someday become a part of the soil where it will furnish food for other plants to grow. What else lives on an old dead tree?
Tommy's found something he can name. Can you? This insect doesn't really live on the old tree. It's just visiting. It's a ladybird beetle. The ladybird beetle has a hard shell covering its back. The shell is made of two wing covers that fold out of the ladybird's way when it wishes to fly. There are still other animals that make their homes on an old tree like this. To find them may take a lot of looking, however. Underneath the piece of bark, Dave shows Tommy an unusual animal. It's a tree salamander. It looks like a lizard, and like a lizard, it eats insects. A salamander is easy to recognize because its skin is smooth and without scales. Salamanders always have four toes on their front feet and five toes on their hind feet. What else may be found living underneath the bark of an old tree? Of course you know what these are. These ants live in dead trees, building and hollowing out tunnels in the wood. When their home is disturbed, they scurry around very quickly. Look at them closely. Notice that their bodies are divided into three parts. Like all insects, they have six legs growing out of the middle body part. On the ground, in the dead leaves and grass along the side of the tree, Tommy and Dave see something moving. It's a gopher snake, a harmless snake that helps man by eating rats, mice, and other small animals. The snake has laid some eggs. They're about the size of a hen's egg with soft, leathery shells. Inside the egg, on the left, a baby snake is struggling to free itself. The baby inside the other egg has cut a slit and will slip out through it. Now Tommy and Dave have discovered something in the hollow end of the old tree. It's an animal that has made its home there. It has a bushy tail and a white stripe down its back. Do you know its name? Tommy and Dave know. They know, too, that an old dead tree like this may actually teem with life. If you can find the dead tree, examine it closely. It may be the home of many different kinds of plants and animals.